Yo, welcome back to more BS I found on the internet. Obese women should be banned from bars and clubs. Not because of their body, because of their behavior. Gatekeeping their hot friends, forcing you to sufficiently seduce them through sacrificing one of your noble friends to them. We must no longer negotiate with these creatures. All right, man, look at these comments right here. People who think this is right, 131,000 likes. <laughs> Always the fridge guard and the snacks. I'd vote for you for president. So, same energy for short man too, right? Shut up, bitch! But anyways, man, the internet is a funny place. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly people will get humbled. And before we get into this video, man, go ahead and hit that like button for your boy. Help about that, man. I don't know why I just did that, but let's get it. Yo, ho ho. Who's making these videos? That guy looks like a drumstick. You hungry? Yeah, she hungry as hell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop it. Ready? Wait, don't let us go there. <laughs> Yo. One time I get out of the damn house, you better kill me. <laughs> Was that an edit or did it ha actually happen? What did you say, nigga? But we all know that if you're fat, you're most likely eating way too many calories and you live a lazy ass lifestyle. But it pisses me off even more when people pay money to lose weight or in this specific instance to get fake apps. This guy has a $10,000 fake six pack made out of foam. Researchers at the University of Miami have developed a new plastic surgery what? technique called abdominal etching. Tools and some foam are used to sculpt abdominal fat. If you know it's foam, it's disgusting. If you look at it right now, it looks strange. But where is the, is the fat? This man paid $10,000. He could have saved that by having like a, a seven month workout plan. And then his body would retain the experience of losing that weight so he could do it over and over. Correct. You just can't put a price on wisdom and experience. I already told you, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't. Hey man, you only smell if her pH level is off. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, she be smelling like roses. All right, to be completely honest, if her pH is normal, it smell like nothing. And you would know that if you're getting coochie out here. I know a good amount of y'all not getting no coochie. And that's okay, man. No, it's not, I ain't gonna lie to you. You're a loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Does height matter in a guy? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna judge you based on your weight. Let's see it. 160 pounds? I'm, I, know, I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor every Hey, all he did was say the amount of pounds she weighed, and she immediately went for the slap. But my guy sensed it coming from a mile away, man. He went into ultra instinct mode. This is what happens when a boy in your group that doesn't get any play finally gets some play. Now, when I saw this video, the first thought that came to my mind is, why are you gay? But this man said that one bro that swears he has rays. I swear to God, man, it's always the ones that say, yeah, man, I could get any girl be doing shit like this. Which one you want? Any, any of those three. I, I, can I ask you a question? Okay. Are you single? I am. Oh. Do you want someone that's gonna provide for you? Someone that's gonna... You sound like Love you, someone that's gonna fight for support you. you. Oh, fight for me. My guy okay. drunk. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Hold on, let me think. It's buffering. You'll, you'll be good. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm there, I'm there. Hold on, all right. Do you got a pen or paper? I have my phone. Then how the <laughs> fuck are you drawing my attention? My friends are right here. Don't you worry. You got this. Hey, hey, but can I get your strap real quick? Fuck that. That bitch was ugly anyway. Man, come on. <laughs> one more. One more. Uh, I was just going to ask you. You know, I was going to go easy on him because approaching a girl, especially with a camera on you, is not an easy thing to do. But just the fact that he said that she's ugly anyways. Bro, you chose to, you chose to speak to her. You picked her specifically. Which one you want? Any, any of those three. And now you're going to diss her when you drop the ball. Had El Riz, as the kids would say these days. Zero aura. And if I was in this situation, I will just keep the conversation basic. I wouldn't have said that corny ass line. 
Cause he tried to use a corny ass line, but it wasn't smooth. It's like he just grabbed it out of his ass somewhere just to shit on her. My body count is 1,572. Jesus Christ. 1,572. 1,572. I mean, she must be lying, bro. Ain't no way, man. 1,572, man. Let's do the math. So let's just assume that she lost her virginity at the age of 16, right? And she look about, she look about 24. That's eight years. 1,572 divided by eight years. That is 196 bodies per year. And now if we divide that by 12, that is 16 bodies a month. And now if we divide that by four, that is four people a week. She's fucking four people every week for eight years straight. That is crazy. So far Where's my day? fucking bag? All right, by the way, if y'all don't know, that is Jaden Smith, by the way. And look at these comments right here. This man says, somebody get that man his purse ASAP. <laughs> somebody get homegirl his bag. <laughs> we are on the same page. If you don't look like a girl, get the f out of the girl's bathroom. I don't positions. think you belong in the girl's bathroom. But you wouldn't, my love, you wouldn't know. Well, like, but before you're saying, you know. a lot of the issues that we're having is the divide where it's competition, my love. We're like, we're dating the same men. We're Rather, we want to not dating the yeah, same men. You, we are, baby. Trust me. No, we are. We are. I don't know about dating. Yes, the same we are. Man. We're dating the same dude. I think there's... that there's a competitive aspect to where, like, Carolina, you this is where I just know. full on cut you off. I have nothing against trans people, but I always wonder, like, women, people that were born women, do y'all feel some type of way that the one of the women of the year was a trans man or trans woman? Like, how y'all feel about that? That men can come in y'all spaces and become women of the year. Like, I always wonder, like, don't y'all feel some type of way about that? <laughs> Saying straight women are intimidated by someone literally trying to be them is crazy. The audacity of these men. <laughs> Sir, straight men do not want to date you. I couldn't agree more, man, because I do not want to be with no one that has a penis or had a penis or knows what it's like to have a penis. No. No penis. No, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> What, isn't this how these girls walk around the gym? It's funny that she's wearing the exact same thing. But as a grown man, why are you wearing an oversized t-shirt walking around like one of these girls, man? <laughs> and what is my guy training for? Jacks with big attitudes, just like my girl, she know what to do. Know what to do. She walking around with my shirt in my room. Making them wings like I stay on a cruise. Got a big brown eyes, and they only for you. You talking my language. I can't help but like it. And just like a light switch. Like, why do you possibly need to train like this? Stay fucking hard! What do you order at Burger King? Uh, probably the Whopper. One Whopper? Yeah. That's it? No fries? No drink? Mm -mm. It usually takes me like two days to eat that thing, so... See, if you only ate one Whopper, then I'm a Caucasian who has slaves. Shit. <laughs> Hello, do you know why I'm here? Uh, no. <laughs> because I'm hungry. No, let me get one, uh... <laughs> <laughs> let me get... Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You know, I've seen this clip before, but it's just like, every time I see it, it's so wholesome. Like a wholesome ass joke, man. Talking to this guy and he was like, I travel for work and I found out he's a DoorDash driver. <laughs> Technically, my guy didn't lie. He does travel for work. <laughs> like you can, you can work like a normal ass job and make it sound like something extravagant. But say if I'm a garbage man, right? If a girl asks me what I do for work, I'm gonna tell her that I'm a sanitation engineer. And if I work at Walmart, I'm a sales representative. <laughs> and if I work at Wendy's, I'm a chef. <laughs> Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. Jose. <laughs> you know, black people. <laughs> Out of all those names, you chose Jose, bro. Could have said Henry. Hey, man, if you're a Jose and your name starts with an H, <laughs> comment below, man. I want to see something. I trust my wife. Damn. 
Shit, that sound shook my ancestors. <laughs> hey, listen, you see her face? She been waiting for this. <laughs> nice guys or bad boys? Bad boys. Why? They're more fun. Is this guy a bad boy? He's bad and bad. Listen, you got no choice but to break up with her at that point, man. She just embarrassed you in front of a bunch of people. Millions of viewers. That's it! Everyone dies! No, ho. What you wanna do? Tell me what you wanna do. What we gonna do now? I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Why? Give me one reason why I should leave you. Cause I'm pretty. How dare she hit a pregnant man? So I found this prank on my TikTok where this guy was pretending to follow my guy in the jacket around and record him. And when my guy notices, he gets he gets livid. Check it out. Hi. Are you following me around with a camera? They chose the wrong person to prank today, man. My guy is definitely a conspiracy theorist. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's Michael Jackson. I'm messaging you from a private account. I'm not really. Can you cash at me $600 so I can come back to the United States and put out more music? <laughs> <laughs> this, this gotta be a joke for sure because ain't no way they thought that would work <laughs> so this girl right here has been messaging the popular youtuber and streamer duke dennis and he does not respond at all so she makes this video pretty much talking about he's gay it's sad to say but i think he's made it over to that buck broken fucked up the ass you know i need my platform i need white men to keep giving me my money and my paycheck he's one of those black people now Really, nigga? Remind you all that all this happened because he won't respond to her messages. So she goes to the internet to tear him down. Black on black crime for no reason. And here's the evidence of her messaging him. See me in a, in a story every day. But I also like, and I'm sorry, I didn't acknowledge it either. But God damn, nigga! See, messages after messages. He's still scrolling. He's still scrolling. God, okay. Okay, I'm not finna. God damn. My arms got tired. But, um, like I said, I, and this is no hate to her, I still think she's like, you know what I'm saying, a beautiful woman. She tried to tear this man down in that video. He still says she's a beautiful woman. But shit, if she came at me like that personally, I'll give her the big bang attack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> big bang attack. So here is a college girl that chose to argue with a lawyer for no reason. Most people ask questions about problems that they have in their life, and I try to point them in the right direction. That's not a lawyer, that's a therapist. So as a lawyer, what makes you more qualified to provide like better advice than the average person? Because he's a lawyer. Huh? Law, law school? school? Okay, so like how? Like what about law school? What kind of question is that? I mean, like, that's a real lot of questions. Like, asking an engineer, what makes you better at being an engineer than just someone off the street that okay, went to high school? Okay, if you ask a lawyer, like, an emotional question, does law school make you, like, more qualified to answer that kind of question? Get that's not what we do. These are legal questions. We let... So, I mean, I don't mean to be rude, right? But it's kind of implied that if you're asking a lawyer, you're asking them a legal question. You don't call your podiatrist and ask them about your taxes, do you? No, I just asked you about what you do to answer Problems, so Correct. Most people have like problems. They don't know where to start. So it, I don't need to specify legal problems. It's implied with the word lawyer. I went to Jones School of Law. She just woke up ready to argue, and she chose to argue with a lawyer. Make the professional arguers. They do it for a living. She's gonna argue with a lawyer about law advice. <laughs> this shit is funny, man. But anyways, man, that is all I have for today's video. Make sure you drink your water. And if you guys don't hear from me in two days, just know that a hurricane is about to hit Florida. Send your prayers to your boy. You know what I'm saying? And with that said, I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace out for you. You talking my language. I can't help but like it. And just like a light switch.